Nathan with two guys on a ride. Today we're out here with Frank, and we're out here with his beautiful uh, Mustang Cobra, and uh, we're out here at the Min at Minneapolis Auto Show on this gorgeous day, and uh, Frank has uh, kindly agreed to talk to us about his car. So, Frank, tell us, I mean, first of all, this tell us what the year it is. This is a 2007. And the, the, I hope the camera picks it up here, and I, and I think we'll get the right angle to make it show, but all right, so one of the unusual things about this, uh, Frank, is that the, the paint job. Um, and this, this of course, is, is uh, what do we call it, grabber orange. Grabber orange. And But it's, it's got a, a, a color in there that you don't always pick up. Nope. Unless you're at the right angle. So tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got a lime green metallic flake in it. And it's real subtle. It, it, it it's is. It's real subtle. And, uh, Until when, you catch it in the right light, and then it's really obvious. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it uh, depends on the angle of the car when you look at it. Yeah. And the, um, the this is not the original paint job the car came with. This no. has been repainted. This has been completely repainted. All right. And and uh, on our channel, there's a uh, another uh, Mustang uh, SVT that we did that was red with the fire on it. That's the same artist. Yes, it is. That painted that, painted this one. Yes. So let's talk about the center stripe going down because that's also really yeah. unique. Yeah, it's a, it's a snakeskin pattern that he laid down on it. And uh, he did the work using a fishnet stocking. And he put that down there and airbrushed it. And then he did his magic in bringing it out to look like, you know, I mean, that, 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 snake skin. I love it. I, yeah, it's I love beautiful. It. And it goes all the way across the, you know, the, the top and down across the back. Correct. Um, so it looks just fantastic. Now, um, on the front, along with the Cobra badge, you know, typically it would say like a GT500. Correct. This car has been rebadged. Yes. Can you explain why? Well, I purchased this car from a good friend of mine. His name is Gary Allen uh, last fall. And uh, Gary bought this car brand new uh, back in 07. It was the first GT500 in the state of Minnesota. Really? He had, this is the first one. Huh. And uh, he's a good friend of ours. I've known him for years. And he had a, a heart attack last year. Okay. He recovered from it, which we're all thankful for. Awesome. And uh, he, he uh, has a beautiful new bride. Her name's Kelly. And uh, they're wanting to travel the country now in his retirement. And he wanted to sell the car, but he wanted to keep it in the family. Okay. And I feel fortunate enough that he considers me family. Because you're not actually related. No, we're not. But that's one of the great things about the car community. Right. You know, when you become really good friends with the people in, 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 in your car club. Yes. You yep. know, that they become... In the very yeah. large, real sense, a family. A family, absolutely. So this is where this came from. Yep. And, and we'll see another reference to G-Man um, on the inside when we take a look at the engine. Yes, sir. Now, on the front, you have got you know, your fog lamps, but then you've got some portholes. Yes. What are those for? Those are for to cool the brakes. Okay. So it's piped front all brakes. the way back there, or at least sculpted so it goes sure. back into there. Sure, sure. Okay, because I, I, you know, I was thinking they'd be more up here. But. Sure. Okay, um, so let's walk around the side here for a minute, and let's talk about uh, the now the brakes are the original Brembo brakes. Correct. Okay, but they are they're big brakes. Yeah, they are. They're uh, cryogenically frozen. Okay. And uh, you know it just helps with the the wear and tear on them. Okay. Uh, have you done any work to the suspension on the car? Yes, uh, the suspension I upgraded uh, to coilovers all the okay. way around, 32-way adjustable. Okay, and then um, on the back end? Coilovers on the, the back the, as into, well. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's right. You said all the way around. All the way around, yep. Uh, front and rear, and um, I also installed some uh, lower control arms and a new adjustable panard bar. Okay, now, and when you look from the back, as you know, as you come up to, you know, like a Mustang uh, from the rear, you always see the underneath of the, the tank, the, the, the muffler, you Sure. Know. So you you have got a polished exhaust system, looks like, yep. it goes all the way down there. Yep. So that must have been replaced at yes. some point. Yes, yeah, that's got a, an aftermarket uh, high flow exhaust system on it. Okay, and let's walk to the back here for a minute. I love, <laughs> I, I, I really like that snakeskin. 
Yeah, it, it, it sets it apart. You it know, does. From any it other does. And, it, and it's subtle too. You know, it's it's not right out there at you, but no. If it's you look subtle. at it from a, you know at the right angle, in fact, people driving by you at the same height may not even notice. No, the, they may notice on the side of the car because it's got the same pattern. Sure. Going down the side. Yes, it does. But yeah, you're right. It, it's subtle now. Did you do on the, the lights with the blackout package? Was yep. that on there already when the car was bought? No, no, nope, that, nope. that was added afterwards. Okay. Yep. And these are sequential. See, 2007. So these would be sequential. Correct. Uh, indicators. Okay. Correct. And then I love the the airflow dynamics underneath the, the the back end here. One of the things that another part of this car that I really like is when you get back behind the car and you see the uh, you know the window vents. And oh yeah. The side scoop vents. It harkens back. It, it it really makes the car look, you know, amazing. It looks good, and, and you know, it's it's kind of a throwback. Yes, that's to the I, older Mustangs. I agree, and that's another thing I love about the car. You know, this is, is like, it you shares. Know, here's that. another one that's a 2000 something or other. Yeah. Not sure what year it is, but uh, that doesn't have it. But the earlier Mustangs. It you shares know, that, and yeah. that's what I like about so it. So it brings back a little bit of it, heritage. It does. It does. Yep. All right, let's talk about the interior for a minute. Okay. On the inside is is what we see pretty much standard as what came with the car. Um, you know, they were always, Shelby's were always signed mm -hmm. on, and had the plate in there. You have a shift knob. Yep. Did that come with, is that part of the car? That actually came, you know, we got that after the car was purchased, and that is from Shelby America. Okay. Yep, that is a, you so know, a, one that they an make. authentic one that they make. Yep. Okay, and then has anything else been modified or changed? It looks like a pretty much the, the standard dash, but... The gauge, the gauge package is out of, like, a, a Super Snake. Oh! You know, a lot of this car is Super Snake. Okay, um, yep. You know, the hood, it's got a carbon mm -hmm. fiber hood on it, and that it, it's what the Super Snakes came with. Okay. And uh, and it's got the Super Snake gauges. Uh, it's basically a Super Snake. I mean, the car is actually a Super Snake, how it, how it sits. And then, because you, know, you still have the back seats in this one. Absolutely. Or, or did you delete nope, them? No, nope, I kept them in there. You still have them, okay. Yes, yep. And uh, so, let's take a look at the engine. Okay. Okay, well, you know, the, the the paint job doesn't end at the outside. No. You know, we got the snake skin that's coming up on the inside underneath, and, of course, we have uh, the, the snakes yep, on the inside, which yep. I, I love it when people add extra detail in hidden places that yes. people don't normally. Yep. We have another reference to G-Man here. Correct. Those are going to stay. That sting. That's yep, sting. that will never leave. It's like a, well, it's... He was like a, he's like a member of the family. He is. Yep. Um, all right. So let's talk about the engineer. Obviously, you know, you've done something here. Yeah. So tell us about the Mammoth. Uh, it's got a Kenny Bell uh, supercharger on it with a Mammoth intake. Um, it, it dramatically increased the horsepower of the car. So what are you, have you had a dyno? Do you know what, approximately what horsepower we're putting out to it's the wheels? It's putting about 750 to the tires right 750. Now. That's yeah. almost like my Ford Explorer. Yeah. <laughs> right? Don't laugh at me. Uh, come on. Well, uh, yeah, but I can't drive I've, this in I've all got the weather 13, either. Though. Well, okay. Yeah, well, my, my, my 13 horsepower to the wheels will, <laughs> will get me there. All right. Um, anything else on here that, that has been changed since it was bought? Yeah. Um, the, uh, the intercooler reservoir... Um, you know the overflow tank. Yep. All these, all this chrome and stuff is was added after the purchase of the car. Okay, um, and you said you've owned the car just since this year. This last fall, I purchased it. This from last me. fall. Yeah. So this is really the first time I've had it out to a show. Wow, first show. I do like the American flag. Yes. Up, the, yeah, up he, in there, I think that's just awesome. Gary was a, a veteran, and uh, that will stay as well. I believe he served in Vietnam. Is that correct? I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Gary, thanks for your service. Yes, absolutely. All right. Okay, Frank, thank you so much for spending your time with us today to talk about your beautiful Mustang here. Absolutely love the story. Love the fact that, you know, in the car community um, that we see cars. Thank you. Passed down. Um, yes. I, yes. I, I'm sure you feel honored. I know you said you do. Oh, yes. I'm um, very honored. But that that's just an incredible story in itself. Um, and I'm sure... Uh, wherever Gary is right now, he's going to appreciate the fact that his car is continuing to do what he probably wanted to do yes. with it in the first place. Yes, and absolutely. And people and, enjoy it. And this car will be passed on to my children and their grandchildren. It's that did special. I, did, did I put myself in your will? Is that... <laughs>
Do we, do we sign that paperwork? I'll, I'll put you yeah. on the will after my grandchildren. How's that sound? All right. <laughs> on that note, folks, thanks again for being with us, Frank. Thank you. Thanks again for watching, folks. Have a great day.